Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Let's Play Open Traffic Tycoon Deluxe. So I've been looking around a little bit and I think one of the first things we're gonna need to fix is this uh, in-road at the factory we're using. I think that in a little bit there will be a lot more traffic uh, going into this factory. So let's unpause and we need to well have a little bit more space for the trains to come in so we can have at least one train waiting over here so basically what we'll do is wait that's one too far go like this and then we delete this one so that Trains can now only enter the station uh, using this on ramp over here. And they can also enter it from this side, but we're not using that at the moment. So in a while we could actually uh, make a construction where there's a bridge over this line and uh, the, the other on ramp over here. But for now we'll keep it like this. Yeah, you see the trains are already using it. I think in turn you can also make that bend. I have it on uh, the game set pretty loosely. So, there's quite a bit of wood in this station. Let's see how much of it gets transported with this train. Oh good, all of it. Uh, let's also hook up Ooh, with quite a bit of money here. We can repay all our loans, I think. Yes, we can. That will actually uh, uh, cost us a little bit of loan interest over there, which is nice. Let's also extend this line all the way up here to that forest and this farm. So basically, we want a two-way intersection over here. Let's keep it like this for now and make it smart later. This is a really bad intersection. Like this, but we can make it a lot better. Let's start by setting up some I think tree tracks over here. Like this it supplies wood, grain and livestock. That's all right. Make it over here. Let's flatten out like this, this little piece of land over here. It costs us a little bit of money, but it will be worth it. And then we'll just Go like this, I guess. We'll just make a little loop. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get things right with a freeform tool. So. Yes, let's make it like this. It will come down over here. Or, no it won't. Actually, since we already have the height over here, the appropriate thing to do would be to go down over here instead of uh, going down here and then making a bridge making it go all the way up again and then down so one earlier actually there we go Ooh, that's a problem train five
Oh, right. I didn't connect that up. Uh, let's make it turn around for one second. Then again, and then let's make it stop. And let's put in this one. So let's go a little bit further back. There we go. And now it should be able to go in, right? Yes. Fixed it. Go back to building our track. There we go. Now we have to line up these two like this and like so, I think. Yes. Now let's make this a little bit better. What we want to do is that uh, people going straight are not crossed by anything. So basically these two long ones have to go around, if that makes sense. So we could, for example, make it go like this, I think. We can go down and we'll make a little tunnel. Like this. And now I can either connect it up over here. Wait, this one is going there, so it should go like this. And now I can delete this one because the trains will go over here and I'll do the same thing on the other side only there's a signal in the way Let's delete the signal for now it go like this and go down over here and wait over here I think yes Create a tunnel. And the on ramp as well. There we go. Now it's just a case of adding some signals. Let's see if we can add one over here. And we can also add one over here. It actually doesn't slow them down all that much, surprisingly enough. Hmm. Still not going as smooth as I hoped. Wait, where is this cool train going? Shouldn't it have gone... Yeah, it should have gone over here. It's doing something stupid. Well, the AI is stupid sometimes. It just can't help it. Uh, 
Uh, one thing I also want to do somewhere is turn off vehicle breakdowns because they're just stupid. I mean, trains stopping for days on end. I still want them to get serviced though, that's alright, but let's also put in Oh, right. Put a maintenance station over here. And now it will just go over there, yes. It was just being stupid for a second. But that's alright, I forgive the train. So now we actually have our station here. Let's start a new vehicle. Let's get one of the new ones. Get some wood trucks behind them. Go to column wood and bring it over here. Fully load any cargo and then load everything while leaving empty. There we go. We we'll immediately go over here and start loading its cargo. Now this actually got a, well, a little bit sidetracked over here because the coal train took such a long way around, it actually uh, stocked up quite a bit of coal. Luckily though, it uh, just arrived. Now these poor trains going from uh, there to here have to first take this tunnel around and then take this one. That is a lot of obstacles. But hey, they'll survive. Uh, let's also put in two more trains. One just with livestock fans and another one. No, let's go do that. I just made a whoopsie, I think. I think I just also changed the orders for this train, didn't I? No, I didn't. Look at me. Uh, so, yeah, this train has to go to Column and Woods, but then go to the factory over here and unload everything while not taking any cargo. Then we're gonna make a similar train, but this was l wait. Are these livestock fans or grain trucks? Oh no, these are livestock fans. So now we get some grain hoppers going. Ah oh, crap. And we'll do basically the same thing with train 12, let it go to Conovain Woods and all the way down here to the factory. Fully load any cargo and unload all over here while not loading. And we'll make them go out almost simultaneously. Which will basically mean that this station will be pretty full. There's a lot of wood over there. We should uh, get another wood train going. It's waiting for a free path over here. Right, so this still is kind of a hard point. Still not the throughput I really wanted to. Oh, 
We'll try and improve it in the future. Basically what we could do is get another line splitting off here and going to here. Could actually do that right now. So that the trains that don't need to go over this piece of track the trains that are coming from right over here and that need to go over here have to compete with track from the trains that go from here to there. So now they can split off and go to here immediately. Ooh, a diesel locomotive. We'll have to look at that in the future. For now I want to see how these trains behave for a second. And if our ID actually works. There we go. Working perfectly. Great. Let's put in a sign over here. There we go. Anyway, this was quite enough for this episode. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.